Welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered. Wait, so, wait, hold on. What? But this is not this isn't the Dark Souls game I'm hearing everyone talking about lately. Wait, there's a new Dark Souls game coming up? Can we drop that meme, please? <laughs> I don't know no. if I know that meme, but whatever, moving on. You see, Pedro, Crash Bandicoot is the new Dark Souls as far as critics are concerned. Uh, oh, right. Okay, I get it now. Sure. Eh, whatever. Like, don't really seriously. care about that. Like, seriously, I mean, go, okay, okay. I get that Crash Bandicoot's hard, but... Dang, I didn't know people found it that hard. I guess we must have been hard-boiled by that game back in our day. Well, remember, Joe, but back in the 90s, video games had a lot more focus on challenge, whereas nowadays they focus more on a more whole story slash gameplay. Uh, and for the sake of moving the story along, they kind of nerfed the difficulty in comparison to older games. So obviously, so so the sensibilities, uh, the point, the sensibilities of gamers in general has changed since the 90s. That's basically my point. More or less. I mean, don't get me wrong. Kingdom Hearts is still a tough time when going. Well, uh, well, yeah, but yeah, but uh, Kingdom Hearts always has a beginner mode for those who don't care about challenge. So uh, most people, most reviewers, I'm guessing, probably review the game in beginner mode or something. Anyway, I'd say I, you know, I'd say that that doesn't stop the later bosses from getting tough. But then again, admittedly, I didn't really know much about grinding. So when I played the game, I didn't really pay attention to grinding and levels. So yeah, RPGs, yeah. Jova, RPGs. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we in the last part, for those who have forgot, we fell into here, so now we have to find our ways back for, for, to the buildings to where Ellie is. So, uh, uh, unfortunately, that's easier said than done, because uh, because this is an old place, it's falling apart, so a lot of passages are blocked off, so we're gonna have to take a leap of faith and try to see if we can get through here without drowning. Thank goodness we didn't Oh, great! Dead bodies. Oh. That's lovely. Hey, at least they ain't zombies. I guess, yeah. Thank goodness zombies in this universe can't swim from what we've seen so far. Alright, let's go. All Which right. is again, thank goodness we're not in Resident Evil where the zombies can be smarter than that. Anyway, while we're um while we're trudging through the water and the um the other more other disgusting things. Um in keeping with um in keeping with tradition, um I'm gonna. I actually just wrote in the comments a uh, a little um, sample of a Last of Us rap. Another rap. Okay. Who do you, th who do you think you are, Dreads, Dreads Fox? This is okay. This is the fourth like franchise he's done this for, so I think we should say it now. His Hold album on. Hold will your be breath. Out You're going time. down. Yeah. A li a anyway, oh, um, his rap yeah. album will be out next down. year on SoundCloud. A little, <laughs> a little hint for the, a little someone here apparently left a hint for those who might get stuck here. Oh, that's event. a brilliant idea for us. Hold on to your breath. You're going down. Oh my! Die with a little bit of frown. <laughs> you gotta run from zombies in the and everywhere. Now watch it now. It's enough to bear. I came now here and the party didn't start, but then I really and it came into my heart. Something, something. Yeah, yeah I'll, 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 I'll just state my. Isn't that the, isn't that the rap from the I Care Bear, the Care Bears uh, free movie? Wait, what? Anyway, anyway, oh, going... for God's sake! The, 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 there's a rap at the end. There's a rap at the end of Care Bears free where you just got, and with the Cheshire Cat uh, going, uh, going. You just gotta use your heart. You know, you just gotta anyway, use the, your heart. For the benefit of the audience that can't read our chat, I'll um, I'll, I'll just read the rap. My name is Joel, I'm in a spot of bother, in a zombie breakout, and I lost my daughter. Fighting through mayhem, mayhem, chaos, uh, and not for nothing I think I may be the last of us. Not for nothing does, but as Doug put it out very well um, in his Kazam review, there's a big difference between rapping and rhyming. All you're doing is rhyming. Come on, a, a little, little bit yeah. more rhythm. <laughs> I put it like this, him. The funk is his hunger has punted and punted. You have to use my lyrics, Jova. Wait, what? But dreams, that's more <laughs> Too late, I came up with We it. have creative differences, man. <laughs> you work Fine. in my lyrics or you don't work at all. Fine. My name is Joel, and I'm in spite of bother in a zombie breakout, and I lost my daughter. Fighting through mayhem, chaos, and puss, I think I may be the last of us. <laughs> the fungus is hunger has plundered and plummeted us from the hunter to hunted as the country crumbles to death. The life of a survivor living in quarantine. This what isn't a holiday. God. This is military policy. There's a rip I... emboldened with the power. Of... I'm just a citizen, Joe. Unmilling man of the hour. 
I don't think I've ever been more sorry. Man, you have a gift, Jova. <laughs> the more I want to see you is ended. And my solitude depends on whether I fulfill it. In fact, yeah, in fact, I got it. Joe, Joe, if we, if, we, if we can add a rap, in, if we can add my rap into the Ace Attorney Bridge series, <laughs> Joe has to perform, Joe still has to do his stuff in Oh, that. well, give it, well, give, well, she were giving some credits. It's uh, still better than g man Oh, God, yes. G-Man. <laughs> You actually remember that? Remember? Well, he, he's he's not old. I mean, he I mean he was a red when he when he first showed up with his uh, rat. That was like four years ago. It's not exactly old. We're thinking about two different teams. Never yes, mind. we are. Uh, well, well, so which basically, Shiroi. Uh, basi- uh, sorry. Basically, Jova. There was the. I mean, he doesn't. I think he doesn't do videos anymore. But two, three years ago, there was this guy called G Man, who's a who was a YouTube rapper, and he made this rap. Uh, where every where the same thing, apparently he couldn't find a, a, a sound sample for a, a, a disc scratching, so in the actual song he literally goes ow 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 ow. ow. <laughs> yeah, it's just as cringy as you're thinking right now. <laughs> oh, uh, tried to do it a cappella. No, 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 Joe, no, Like I said, he couldn't. Apparently he couldn't find, or maybe he's just too lazy to find a natural disc scratching. Um, Sound sample, so he actually does the noise himself. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> anyway, fucking zombies. There. Well, like I said, at least they can't swim. Unfortunately, the this water is not deep enough. Oh no, quicker! Fortunately, I've added yet more to it. It's okay. I have a shotgun. It's 19 years later, and I'm all out of luck. Oh, never mind. It's not a clicker. It's a runner. Well, only able to carry two weapons at a time. Guy? The only thing worse it's than weird. this is Twips' is rhyme. He oh, was it, making the sounds of a clicker. Oh, it, it's because it, it's a, because uh, well, if, if you paid attention, Joe, oh, but clickers there, it, can run at you. I just, they well, can actually, run hold at on, Joe. Let me see. Yeah, well, there you go. If you know, if you notice their heads. You'll notice that uh, unlike some of the earlier runners that we found, those are uh, their, their heads are starting to have those things coming out. So they're somewhere in between runner and clicker. They're they're in a transition period, so and they can so fair, they can still see, but they they are already starting to have those things that make the noises. But they're in, it, it's an and, it's, it's an in between zombie. And and to be fair, honestly, if I recall correctly, clickers can rush you. No, no, they can. Uh, I'm, I'm ju- I was just trying to argue that uh, the reason you can hear the the clicking sound is because um, it's an in between. It's an, it's a half runner, oh, half clicker. He, no, uh, of he's course, tra- of he's, transi- he's transitioning of sorts. So I, I like that detail. The fact that they bothered to not just have three types of zombies, instead they even include in between transition zombies. That's cool. He, she. All right, let's try this again. Uh, Excuse you, Jova. Excuse me. <laughs> well, then again, I do that all the time, so I, who am I to talk? Oh. I do too, just not. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the noise will, of course, attract any zombies that are nearby. So. And Gustavo's music is all warning me to be careful as well. Mm, let's see. Oh, there they are. Come here, asshole. There you go. Considering the considering your lack of uh, a- um, resources, it's always a good idea when you get into a situation like this. It's a good idea to pick a good spot like this one and just snuff them out. Come on. Come on. Ha! There we go. You know, I would do... I would write a rap for the zombies, but since they can't, you know, talk, the rap would just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so literally a G-Men rap on loop. Yeah. Much. Bang. Hell, I even... I just wrote one for Uncharted. Anyone else? Huh? Huh? 
I'm from Hi Volcano there. Bay. My name is David Drake, yeah. a huge adventurer, but I've been bored as of late. Done nothing but swim and fill paperwork, man. But all that changed when I ran into my bro, Sam. That's yeah, beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful, Dwips. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, amazing. We've made it to yours. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I guess I guess we're clear now. So let's continue. Did <laughs> that. Did you not for nothing, but um, just say asking me to stop so they're gonna make me keep going. For the record, was uh, remember he's not in the he's not in the part, so he can hear he can hear us. I know this, but the audience doesn't know, so try Basically, to keep that Basically, audience, for reference, Deji is here in our Discord chat with us, but he's muted because he came in in the middle of it. There you go. And Where? I found uh, an iron. But it's not a. But it's not bar with barbed wire like my baseball bat. So, whatever. Oh, lovely! That guy died while taking a shit. He did now, didn't he? Well, he's in the toilet, so I'm assuming. Could you imagine taking? A, you're 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 in the bathroom taking a, a shit, minding your own business, and then suddenly a zombie pops up. Ew! 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 <laughs> <laughs> the heck happened with that smear on the wall? Unless uh, someone shed their skin and became a new form of zombie. Hmm, we found... Oh, here we go. I got an hotel key card. Don't worry, Jova, it's the only key card, so that we will not be shuffling through key cards in the item screen. Don't worry. Let's see... And the only reason we're here is because some dicks blocked our car off. Uh, sure, let's go with that. Remember, because, you know, one of those... I don't know if these are the cannibals or whatnot, but... These are oh, you mean... Games. Oh, yeah, you mean... Oh, yeah, you mean... Yeah, sure. Well, remember, the hunters... Um, yeah, yeah, the hunt. Like you said, the hunters, of course, uh, kill other people for money and some can cannibals, yeah. I, I could I could never do it. I don't I don't think I could I could have the heart in me to eat another human being. Well, unless I have absolutely no option other than dying. I guess yeah. I guess when you're staring at death straight in the face, things become all all different. But oh well, I'm glad I'll never. Yeah. I'm I'll, I'm just happy not knowing if I will have the the fortitude for that. There we go. Sounds like a doorbell. Ding dong. Made it. Now we just gotta climb the stairs. And then the stairs collapse. So Did you notice that, by the way? I have a, a graphical glitch. Um, suddenly he ha he didn't have the the mask in him anymore. So, but then it showed up again, mysterious. It's just so we could do the animation of him taking the mask off. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh my God! Oh my God! So that means that Nathan, you're immune to the gas after all. Yeah, don't you mean Joel? Oh yeah. You punk. Actually, um, actually, when I, when I beat Uncharted Four. Um, I was hoping that in the cutscene, if you wear your tuxedo at the bit where you're supposed to take off the overalls and have the tuxedos on underneath, I'd have thought if you're either taking your tuxedos off and they were naked, but um, no, they weren't. So, sorry, Debs, uh, this is not Metal Gear. Damn. Anyway, all right. Uh, before we move on and go back to Ali, might as well see if there are any resources we can use. Ooh, door. Let's see what's in here. Storehouse. Storage, storage room, sorry. Mm, full, full, full. Oh, we're full. Okay. Oh, never mind. Gears. That reminds me, if I remember correctly, I think I get the, the golden trophy for getting all of the, um, the upgrades in this. Mid-playthrough in this, so that's kind of cool. I've already done that in the PS3 version, but uh, I haven't done that in the, here in the PS4 up until this playthrough. Alright, let's see... Fuck. Hunters. No, Pedro, I, Pedro, I don't want Finish to it. F with it. you. <laughs> Nicely done. You Not today. Don't worry, you soon will be. Alright, so yeah, let's see if we can stealth kill them. Oh, 
Come on, asshole. Come on. Yeah, now go for the door. You're not supposed to be this smart, you mook. It's okay. I'll just get him from behind. Oh uh, shoot, Mena noticed. Yeah. Turns out I'm not as stealthy as I, as I thought. Uh, Mena noticed me. Well, yeah. uh, dogs are more observant than humans, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, basically, Shiori, if you ever see a dog with an eye patch, run like heck away. Well, Shiori, wait till we wait till we get to Phantom Pain. All right. Wait, wait, Shiori, wait. Random bit of well, Shiori, well, Shiori, wait till we get to Phantom Pain, where we have a a, a dog companion that can we, we can literally order him to literally strike at our foes to bite him to death. That is, in fact, the dog with the eye patch I was mentioning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 sure, you, yeah, 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 sure, you, you know how Big Boss has um has only one eye, uh, the other one he has, yeah. a, has a high patch? Yeah. Uh, in Phantom Pain, he actually finds um a dog that also is blind from one eye, and he, Aww. it's a, it's a little puppy, and he takes care of, uh, calls him Diamond Dog, and the dog eventually becomes his partner in missions, and you can use him uh, for various things. Like for example, he's one of the best, uh, he's one of the best ways of uh, does marking... The, does he give the dog an eye patch? Uh, yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, there's a, uh, he's also one of the best, com better companions in terms of when you're beginning for the game because uh, uh, whereas uh, if you don't have D-Dog, of course, you have to use the, the binoculars to mark your enemies on your map. But uh, D-Dog can actually sn sniff them out and actually have them be marked on the map without you actually have to do it yourself. So he's a very useful companion. Yeah. Hmm. I gotta say, one way that Probably the, the best one you can get until you get quiet, because when you get quiet, it's even better because she can snipe enemies for you while she's marking them. But go ahead, go ahead. Quiet, like literally, yeah. That's one thing I like about Phantom Pain is the replayability you. factor when you get all the different allies and whatnot. Tell me about it. Like I've literally logged in over three hundred and fifty hours in Phantom Pain by this point. It just really goes to show how much more it hurts that that game was not the full package. It was. Meant to be. Sadly. Anyway, we did it, guys. We stealthed. We didn't even alert anybody. That's how Yay. awesome I am. Yeah. Oh, uh, what you, what you, what you get noticed in this next section? Well, let's see. What could possibly go wrong? Oh God, dang! <laughs> The five words are always going to bring about that, aren't they? Okay. I thought it was, I thought it was the eight deadly words. No, no, no. no dudes, what could possibly go wrong? That's five words. All right, so there's two oh. more. All right. Uh... Come. All right, assholes. <laughs> Not getting out of here. Yeah, but you first you got to find your human MacGuffin. Come on. Son of a bitch. Fuck. All right. <laughs> well, it's okay because he shot. Uh oh. Well, shoot! There was someone else behind us. It was, it was, well, it was the other guy. I, I, I noticed that there were two. All right. I guess that's it. There you go. Wow, this is uh, th this is uh, th this is um, this is uh, painful. I mean, hotels can, uh, can look so gorgeous, like especially uh, I've, I've worked in some hotels and you can uh, in some parties and the f and they look so good. It's such a fucking waste of uh, good architecture that they, what the zombies did to this hotel. Unless it's the Overlook, Helen. Unless it's the Overlook, in which case, blow it up. Just blow up that hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, pay attention because uh, we're about. Of his father, we're, we're, it. All right, pay attention here because we're about to get some important story. Here's Johnny. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. I'm just surprised I didn't do a reference to that. <clears throat> oh yeah, I know they're even in a hotel and ah. Fuck, it was Johnny. <laughs> here. Oh, a nice oh. way to say hello. Oh, fuck. How rude. 
never thought, you know, um, I know I always wanted my hotels with indoor swimming, but Fuck. uh, not like this, please. Crap, crap, crap. No. Yeah, a oh, better hope fuck. Just, just pray to God that that thing isn't intended oh. by... <sighs> Where have you been? Looking for us. Saving your ass. Oh, it's interesting to say that, Shiroi, because uh, she literally shouts that right now. I feel sick. Her first kill. You just hang back like I told you to. You would have died, you asshole. Right? Hey, she's gonna say that. I'm glad I didn't get my head blown off by a goddamn kid. You know what? No. How about, hey, Ellie, I, I know it wasn't easy, but it was either him or me. Thanks for saving my ass. There you go. Anything like that for me, Joel? No. We gotta get going. Lead the way. I just the yeah, highway, so is, let's hide no out for, of here. This is no time for platitudes. You cannot... Uh, sorry, sorry, Ali. It's gonna take more to melt his icy heart. Like I said, life is a highway, so let's hide till it out of here. It, it comes off to me as having more of a rocky heart. Than a, um... It, it, oh, no, it, it, it's it's a classic trope in these kinds of characters, Dwibs. Um, after after a big trauma, like like uh, after the different one, they usually they uh, usually they're they, oh, they, they, they God, usually as as, no. as as kind of a defense mechanism. They kind of close off their hearts and don't want to get close to some, especially in a world like this where yeah, you can yeah, you can yeah. literally lose people at a moment's notice because you know it's a very dangerous world. So it, so I kind of understand his point of view of not wanting to get close to people so he doesn't have to suffer for that again. But go ahead, Joe. What is it? Uh, it said on the board. Don't worry. Yeah, Logan. Funny enough, Pedro, yeah. Logan did this kind of thing too. Yeah. Where Logan just closes himself off from everyone because it, yeah, it, um, he's frightened a, of losing them. Yeah, it, it's a it's a common trope in these kinds of characters. Well, hey, considering the considering mm -hmm. Wolverine in that film kind of looks like Joel here. So anyway, going back to what I was I'm saying. I'm still waiting. I'm still hoping Hugh Jackman gets to play Joel in the movie. If it happens. Go ahead, Joe. What is it? Oh, Savage Starlight. How Let's see. cute. Book anyway, six, yeah, Accretion. What? So yeah, you can even though you can't read the actual comics from the budget, you can read the synopsis on the back cover. So if you if you collect all of them, you can actually kind of see uh, the storyline. Uh, you have a basic sense of it. Unfortunately, like like Ellie says, they never finished publication because of the apocalypse. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to settle with a cliffhanger. <laughs> so yeah. Yes. I wonder what that board meant when they said, "Don't worry, we'll take care of her." <laughs> Gives me a bad idea, really. <laughs> there you go, Shiro. See, Ellie agrees with you. And she still feels sick. Don't worry, you'll sadly have to get used to it. For now, we have to get moving. Alright. Ah, I really like the, the lighting in here. We need to get back out. Find that bridge. Tell me where to go. Oh, I hate this crap. <laughs> what, bonding or having to run for your lives? How about uh, both? How about both? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. No, there doesn't seem to be anyone around. We're cool. Let's see if we can find some guns and ammo lying about. It's a good thing people leave their shit all over the place. Admittedly, in Resident Evil. But hey, um, at least at least at least they're leaving it behind. A good cause. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we're not getting out for the front door. We could always try knocking it in. Then again, that may attract unwanted attention. That too, yeah. Man, right. this is... For here. This is, this is probably a five-star hotel at some point in its life. Now it would probably be a best get yeah. a half a star. Yeah, yeah, this kind of... Yeah, this, uh, like, uh, I've, wor I've worked in hotel parties, and uh, I always love working here in Grand Halls uh, when there's concerts going on. It's always a lot Could of fun. Could you imagine still trying know, to... Right? Um... I've even done still trying to, Could you imagine still trying to advertise these hotels? Come to the Grand Hotel in Los Angeles. We got it all. Wrecked oh. buildings. Falling chandeliers. A grand piano that is so out of tune you'd think it was made in the 1800s. Oh, I love, I love this one. Love. I think I, I'm pretty sure I showed it off a little. Let me see. Oh, I know, right, I know, so, I know. So we're going to push this Wait. piano. 
Why not just play the keys and see if it opens up a secret passageway? It's interesting and you say. It's interesting you say that, Jova. Right. Hold on a bit. Sure Hold on, that fuck. Come on, Ellie. I was up. Last of us. Yeah. Did it, Master Mouse? Yeah, I think I do it now. Yeah, there you go, Jova. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't you even like... sound like one of those, uh... Sorry, Jova. Sorry, Jova. Actually... I tried. Doesn't work. I wonder if you can actually control which keys he plays, or does he just on a map? No, it's, no, it's always uh, the same thing. What's that, Mena? Jimmy's stuck in the <laughs> well? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, Jova. Um, we have that chapter with Norman Jaden playing the piano at the QTEs for that. <laughs> Mena's not the most... Like she's not the stealthiest dog in the world. <laughs> well, I know, don't, I know. Don't you have to try. You have to do like big boss and trainer to kill, bite people's heads off. Yeah. So the uh, exactly. so the moral. Aside so, from that being illegal, <laughs> sure. So the moral of the story is: don't bring your dogs along on the zombie apocalypse. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Actually, Drips, trust me. Sometimes bringing your dog along for these kinds of things is essential. Terminator Two taught me. Yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, cutscene. Right after I go through here. There we go. Hopefully now we can get out of here scot free. Wishful thinking, Jova. Wishful thinking. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, you won't be needing that anymore, sir. Come here, keep your head down. All right now, I'm gonna jump down there and I'm gonna clear us a path. What about me? You stay here. This is so stupid. We'd have more of a fucking chance if you let me help. I am. You seem to know your way around a gun. You reckon you can handle that? Well, trusting. I sort of shot a rifle before. Close enough. I don't have to do. Rats. With BBs. <laughs> well, it's the same basic concept. Lift it up. Just know that I've right his kid. Recoil. Yeah, he's going to warn about the recoil. Yeah. Stock is he's going to kick a hell of a lot more than yeah. baby right. What he said. Yeah. Go and pull the bolt back. Grab it right there. Just and then I accidentally points the gun at Joel and shoots him. You're, you're going to want to get another round in there. Quick. I would be. I am. Very All right, here we go. We're going to get the, the catch, the, the, the line again. I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. Yeah. I got this. All right. Let's go. Now's not the time for this. So we're clear about back there. It was either him or me. Aw, I knew your heart would finally warm up eventually. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What can I say except you're welcome? Pretty much. All right, all right. So, so yeah, like he said, like this, of course, reflects in the gameplay. While I'm doing, I'm trying to do this section. Ellie will, of course, act as my sniper. Um, if I get in trouble down there, like Joe, uh, like Joel said, aka, if I get detected, uh, Ellie will help me by uh, trying to snipe these guys out. For, however, let's see if we can try not to have Ellie kill anyone at least just yet. Let's see if we can find to kill. Uh, let's see if we can stealth kill everybody out. Here's in the next part. All right, see ya. See you then. Yeah.